And what is going on everybody, I'm Sigley Justy here today with like some more Pixel Car Racer. This is going to be a regular Pixel Car Racer episode, and I'm going to be honest with you, I kind of have a general idea of what I want to do in this episode, but not quite. Um, I know that I want to do some stuff with the ARC-7, because I haven't touched any of these cars in a while, let alone the ARC-7. So, uh... I want to do something with it. And if you hear a jingle, by the way, if you hear like a bell jingle, that's just my cat. She just didn't want to leave the room. So just letting her sit in here for a little bit until I can convince her to leave, which usually takes around five, ten minutes. So mid video, I'm probably just going to, you know, open the door for her. So, um, actually, you know what? Let's see if I can do that now. Give me a second. Okay, it looks like it took a lot less time than I thought it was. Uh, if anyone's wondering, she is a less than a year old uh, Siamese cat. Uh, she replaced my um, my other cat who unfortunately passed away. She would, she was 18. She's She was well older than I was, so she had a good life. Um, but this one, she, it wasn't much of a replacement rather than just uh, the opportunity came up to get a new cat, so I took the opportunity. Kind of a sign. So... Anyways, um, I don't remember what's done to this car, so give me a second while I just go over it real quick. Actually, you know what? I'm going to keep it in this video, just for simple fact that I just want to show you all uh, what's done to this car, because I haven't touched it in so long that even I don't remember. So, I don't know why I chose livery. Obviously, it has livery on it. What? Oh, it has the plate on it. It has the pizza thing. It has the red lug nuts. Okay, it's painted red. I keep pressing the wrong button. Stock spoiler. What seats does it have? It has Pride Pros. No body kit. I think it's just lowered. Oh, it's got 831 horsepower. What engine's in it? Oh, it is stock. Okay, cool. Wheels has basic wheels. Does it have nitrous? It has 150 shot. I I keep pressing the wrong button. What turbo does it have? Alright, that's not too bad. I don't want to go too high with it, even though I already have the twin turbo setup. I just want it to be calm. Watch me put on the twin turbo setup later on in the video. It has a three inch lift. What wheels does it have? these semi-slicks and it looks like it has red trembos yep trembo is basically just this game's equivalent of uh, brembo let's put on the open intake why not it adds three horsepower no on the thing it says it adds seven but here here with the name and everything it says that three so I don't know but it was just a little bit more. Has a pretty decent ECU. Oh, of course it wouldn't have pistons. It's a rotary. I'm dumb. Do I not have an intercooler on this? Oh, I do. The VX Gold. And then, of course, the exhaust is uh, blast pipes. So, it says we are making 380... 383? Wow. Okay. Cool. So it says we are making 838. Let's see what the dyno says. Okay, so it's actually 823, so let me do the math real quick, because I am dumb. That is a loss of 15 horsepower, which actually is not too bad considering all my other builds. So, um, yeah, it's actually not too bad. 
Ooh, I have an idea. I think I've done it before in a video, but I have an idea. See how high this thing can rev up to. With this ECU that just lets you just rev it all the way. It gives you so much more leverage. I don't know why I'm putting on launch control. Let's just go... I don't know, drag, free run, manual, quarter mile, day. Put in neutral, can't, have to do a burnout, okay. I'm not going to finish the race just because I want to see how high it revs up to. Neutral. Only 10 grand, really? It's a rotary. It should be revving up a little higher than that, but okay. So let's just put this back in the CRX. Didn't even take it out of the out of the RX-7. Pressing wrong buttons. This video is all over the place, and I, once again, do apologize. Set that for around 7 grand. Yeah, whatever. I keep pressing wrong buttons. I do apolo apologize. Wow, you can tell I'm both tired and stupid at the same time. Okay. Uh... Let's see what parts we can add to this. There probably isn't any that I'm gonna add, but... Actually... No, there isn't. Because I think it's perfect the way it is. Calm build. Ooh, give me a second. Sorry about that. I felt a sneeze coming on, and I am one of those people that cannot sneeze once. Let alone, wasn't gonna sneeze anyways on video, because that is disgusting. I am one of those people that sneezes 15 times in a row... Because my body won't let me sneeze once. So. Yeah. I'm one of those people. One of those people that you say bless you like three times and then you tell them to F-T-F-U at the end. I was about to say the words. But caught myself because I realized I'm recording. So. Yeah, honestly, there's not much I want to do to this car. I think it's perfect the way it is. Um... Other than a body kit, but then again, the body kit really takes away from just the beauty of how this car looks stock. This is my favorite RX-7. Uh, actually, my favorite RX model in general, because you got the RX-3, you got the RX-7, you got the RX-8. So, out of the ones that I've seen, this is my favorite generation. There might be some other ones, like maybe an RX-4, RX-5, RX-6, I don't know. Not really too well versed in those cars. I know RX3, RX7, and RX8. I don't know the other ones. So, as the ones that I've seen, this is my favorite generation out of all of those. Definitely out of just the RX7 slash RX8. I don't know. I've never. Eh. I guess I kind of like the RX8. The RX8 is kind of iffy for me. And it's all because of that rear door. That's my biggest problem. It's just the rear door feels like an afterthought. Like I've seen cars with like half rear doors like that. And some pull it off. Don't get me wrong. That one, it just feels like it was meant to be a two door. But then someone was like, you know what? Let's put a four door just for, I don't know, tax purposes or something. But it felt like an afterthought. It felt like they've already designed a car and already had it together. And they were like, you know what? Let's make it four doors just for the heck of it. And then they just kind of sort of did it. I don't know. That's just how I feel about it. Uh, I know that, I know that, or at least I've heard, I've heard that that generation, that car has like the most unreliable rotary. I don't know. This is what I've heard. So don't take it as fact. Uh, I don't know much about rotaries, but 
I've heard that those are the most unreliable. I don't know. But again, you're getting a rotary, so it's not like you're looking for reliability like you would in a Honda or an old Chevy 350, 305. It's not it's not like that. It's not going to be as reliable. I mean, even RX7, no, RX7s, even like RB RB25s, 2JZ, I guess 2JZ kind of. But even then, they're not that reliable. Maybe not sending a hole through the block or, you know, losing piston swings as, you know, an R, as a rotary would lose apex seals, but give me a second, I hear a noise outside. Sorry about that, it's really windy outside, I had to make sure my wind chimes didn't fall down like my last pair. Because I live on a second story and they're like hanging right over the thing, so I had to make sure they didn't fall and break. So, uh... Yeah, I don't really remember what I was talking about. I have a vague memory. But, um... I guess I was talking about, like, reliability with rotaries. Especially since the RX-8, you know. Um, I mean, it's not something you're looking for reliability. I mean, if you're getting an RX... Or just a rotary in general. If you're getting a rotary car, most likely you're not trying to make it your daily. And if you are, you have bigger... You have more guts than I do. I was about to say you have bigger um, word there, but you have more guts than I do. Because if I'm going to daily something, I'm going to try to make it as reliable as possible. So a Honda or something unmodified. So, anyways, uh, let's do some racing real quick. Just end this video off, and then I guess I'll end the video off. Drag, free run, do 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 do. Let's turn this down a bit because it is 12:40, and I do not want to wake anyone up. So I'm gonna be quiet for this video, and if I record another one tonight. That actually ran pretty good time. 9.3. Now see, drag racing has always been my thing. I've, I, I grew up with muscle cars. I was almost born in a 78 Camaro. So, I grew up with muscle cars, so drag racing and things like that are just my thing. And I know that's a pretty good time for the amount of horsepower we have. That's a pretty that's pretty fast for a nine second quarter mile. 152 miles per hour. But I guess that could be let off to a bad launch. Because the reaction time is pretty okay. I mean I've I've done better, I've seen better. But I mean that all could be just bad launch, bad reaction time, and it got up to speed way later than it should. So, yeah. And I only know quarter mile. I don't know eighth, I don't know half, and I don't know mile. So, I know quarter mile, and I know big old big blocks with carburetors and, you know, hog cams. You know, I know that stuff. So, I mean, that's what I grew up with. I'm, I'm getting a lot better when it comes to, like, modern cars and JDM and German having a Jetta at one point, uh, so, I'm getting better at it, but, sometimes, like, like with rotaries, I'll not, oh, I just dropped my tripod, and now it's all mangled, okay, that's great, um, especially with, like, rotaries and stuff like that, there's still things that I'm foggy on, and even in the muscle car world in general like there's still a couple things i don't know and new things i learn um so if you have anything to teach me whether if you think i know it or not tell me just some fun facts about any kind of car in the comment section
whether you learned it from a Dona Media video or it just happened to be a little fun fact you knew from like personal experience, tell me down in the comment section. Or you can DM me at my second Instagram account, which is, uh, is it the second one? Yeah, it's the second one. Uh, Vroom and Zoom. Vroom underscore and underscore Zoom filled with nothing but car stuff. And if you want your car featured, all you have to do is DM me. I've never turned anyone down, so most likely, if not certainly, you're going to have your car featured. I post anything from high horsepower builds to, you know, low powered stock cars, anywhere from, you know, big turbo RX-7s to big turbo RX-7s doing two-step to, I mean, like a month or two ago, I posted a Geo Metro doing a burnt a one wheel peel burnout so hit me up um yeah let's go in this video if you like the video leave a like if you dislike the video leave a dislike tell me down in the comment section why you like to dislike the video talk to me down in the comment section i'll give you thumbs up hearts and positive and i'll good replies to positive supportive and i'll get comments but i'll never react negatively to a negative comment because that's quite minimal about us spreading positivity if you want positive content go down to my description and go to the bottom and you'll see a link for my twitter it's filled with nothing but positive content, funny retweets here and there. Um, above that is description, two Instagram accounts. Instagram number one is my main for myself and for the channel. So if you want to keep up to date with me or the channel, go follow that one. Instagram number two is automotive based. Uh, I've already talked about it. Just go over there, find something. Go over there, you'll find something that you like. And hopefully you like a lot of it and hit that follow button. It really does help. Speaking of hitting buttons, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when I post videos. I post every other day, but not at set time, so that's what you need the bell icon for. <sighs> okay. Hope you liked the video. Thanks for watching, and remember, stay positive.